Hello everybody, welcome to Sure Shot Archery and today we're going to be taking a look at the Astra Archery Shot Trainer. I was sent this product and uh, overall it's a very interesting training tool. So I'm going to be going over it with you, what you get and uh, how you can use utilize this shot trainer to the best of your ability and get the most out of it. Okay, let's see what's inside the packaging here. Here we go, we've got the packaging open. Put that aside, and we have a nice manual on the shot trainer. Now, uh, this is going to break down how to set up your shot trainer. It's going to break down, um, you know, how to attach it. And uh, I'll be showing you uh, it on my arm, and uh, I'll be uh, shooting with it. This is just a breakdown, though, of what each part is and what it's uh, what it's doing. I'm a lot of good information here. There's uh, there's different drills that you can do. There's even goals to uh, measure your progress. Now that we finished with the manual, here is the shot trainer itself. They do come in two different sizes, as a note. Um, I'm a size one, so I would say most people are probably size one. It's measured by the size of your forearm. There's great information online at uh, astroarchery.com, but once you find out, what uh, size your forearm is and what size shot trainer you need. You just order it, it'll come in, and then um, this is what you're gonna get. Okay, now let's put the shot trainer on. We have our first piece of the shot trainer. This is the main piece, this is gonna slide onto your arm. And that is the drawing arm, of course, because it's going to be holding your string when you shoot. So, slide our hand in there. Notice, there is a part that expands for your elbow. Get that up your arm. And uh, there we go, pretty much. Uh, you know, there's going to be a little bit of adjusting and there's going to be a learning curve to this to, uh, you know, to really get the full uh, benefits of it. Especially for me, um, I've been shooting all these years and I've never really had a, you know, a piece of equipment that works quite like this. Uh, for me, it's just been shooting arrows, and if it's really cold out, or you know, and the weather's bad, uh, I shoot inside at you know, almost like a blank bale or something like that. But for those people that don't have those options, or they just want to maybe try another angle to like the training spectrum, the shot trainer may be the way to go because you can pretty much shoot this anywhere. Of course, you know always be safe with it because in the more advanced stages of using the shot trainer you do actually put an arrow on the bow and of course you're going to want some ground because the arrow will shoot off your bow. Uh, I won't have video of that it's really cold outside so it will not uh, look too great since I'll be bundled up in a jacket but when you get to the advanced stages though you'll be putting the arrow on your bow you'll be drawing back when you release the shot trainer catches your string, the arrow will go forward, um, I would say about six feet, as long as you're doing it correctly. And in, in those cases, you definitely don't want people in front of you, and you also want to be on a surface that's going to be friendly to your arrow, such as uh, grass. Okay, so now that we have the shot trainer on my arm, we need to now attach it to the bow. So, we take the clip, clip it right in here. And ah, as you can see, hopefully, you can see where this is, uh, this is heading. This part will attach to the bow. I will probably have to unclip this in order to loop it onto the bow's string. But it's going to catch the string when it releases. Also, as a note, there is adjustments in this piece right here to adjust the length because everybody's forearm is not the same length so it's it's good for like all ages all sizes the only real size thing was you know picking up one that uh, fits your forearm so size one or size two now that I have the bow we're going to attach the shot trainer to my string and then reattach it to my arm so we're gonna unclip this we're going to loop it on to the string 
And uh, when you first do this, it, it may take a couple tries, just because of, you know, it's it's different. Especially for for me, I was used to, you know, just shooting all these years, which is not a bad thing, but uh, this definitely gives you a, a different perspective to the shot itself. It also lets you work on form and things like that, so that's really cool. Not that shooting arrows doesn't let you work on form, but if there's something in particular you're trying to achieve, uh, this could be very helpful for you uh, to get there. So we have it connected to the bow. And I'm going to connect it back to myself. Ah, you see? Now, I probably have mine a little bit long, so might be a little bit of a bad example on this. So I'm going to shorten that up just a little bit. And, yep, that's probably about right. So now I'm going to show you how it shoots. Okay, so now we're going to shoot like we normally would. Of course, this is going to be without an arrow, but with the shot trainer, you won't be uh, dry firing your bow. So I have my finger tab. I'm going to place it on my string. And we're going to draw back. And release. See? Catches the string. Um, it's a very interesting sensation, uh, especially when you first do it. So uh, don't be uh, don't be too shocked. But it's it's really going to help you with uh, with your form. Now the idea is you're going to work on that sensation of drawing back your bow and releasing. And the idea behind this, after you know, checking through the manual. Yeah, you know, just to make sure that I have a good basis so that I can share this with you guys. Um, your shot, with or without the shot trainer, should feel exactly the same. Now, the results that you're going to get from using the shot trainer are going to come with practice, just like anything else. But if it's something, especially like form that you're working on, or if you can't, uh, you know, go to your local range, or the weather's just too bad to go out at all. Well, this could be the answer for you, and it could really, uh, you know, help you on your training so you don't have those down days. Now, I definitely advise you to, you know, check out the whole manual, check out their site, just so that you can get a good feel for, uh, you know, what this is all about. But uh, overall, I'm pretty happy with it. I'm going to keep working with it. I think uh, it has some promising aspects. Uh, it may not be for everybody, but... Uh, the people that do use it seem to have great success. I know for a fact uh, Jay Kaminsky was a big component of this. Um, if you don't know who he is, he is a two-time Olympic medalist from the Rio and London Olympics. He got a, a silver team medal in both of them. So if it works for him and he has you know this level of success, well, it should be able to work for you. So hopefully you enjoyed this video. Hopefully you found it helpful and interesting. Thank you for watching, and as always, happy shooting.